Testing, one, two, one, two, testing. All right, everything's working. Hi, guys. Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. If you're new to the channel, of course, hello to you. It's very nice to meet you. And a huge welcome back, as always, to our new visitors. New visitors? Our regular viewers and awesome subscribers, because it's thanks to you that I continuously want to upload cool new videos to this channel. So do remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button so that YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload cool new videos. And by the way, this is the go-to place for all your HP Reverb G2 content. So in case you do own an HP Reverb G2, you know what to do. Go to the channel and check out all the different videos there. But today we're talking about the potential marriage, Apple or Facebook proposing to Apple or Apple proposing to Facebook. Who knows? But Facebook might be integrating the Oculus Move with you know the apple health ecosystem so let's dive to the other screen here and then let's talk about this because if you were to do a search for this my god there are so many different articles online it is pretty insane so let's go to upload vr uh, which is a trade publication according so the big title here is report facebook may integrate oculus move with apple health written on july 27th, and I really wanted to talk about this. According to a new report from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Facebook may integrate Oculus Move data with Apple Health, allowing users to transfer and track their VR fitness session data to external Apple devices. Now, by the way, if you don't know what Apple Move is, it's basically a blunt copy of an app that's called Year that's been in VR for countless for a long, long time, and basically they copied it and dethroned you and you now. I don't know what's happening with them. But basically, you can track all your calories, and you know, it's very good for various different VR fitness experiences and non VR fitness, of course, where you can track all your various different things in all those different, different applications, different, different applications, various different applications. Um, and you can go and check all these different things, and basically, you get to you know, have, well, with you anyway, you get some point scoring and all these kind of things. And Apple Health, of course, is an app developed by Apple, which enables you to tell certain different details as well, according to health, like your walking steps, uh, also walking steadiness, and a whole bunch of other different data which can help you, um, you know, to basically be more fit. Now, we know that Apple, first of all, the controversy with Apple is the fact that they limited apps on their iPhone that potentially track data in the new iOS, warning customers, do you want this app to track your data? And Facebook took them to the cleaners because they thought this was anti-competition. So it's quite surprising to see a potential article that says that Apple might be working with Facebook. I mean, how is this? It's pretty crazy, I think, right? So that's a very interesting approach that perhaps, you know, we also know that Apple, of course, if we jump back to the other screen, are going to be releasing ba -ba 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 -bum, the Apple VR headset leaks next year. They're supposed to release one of the world's most powerful VR headset. This is the actual render of the headset that they're supposedly going to be releasing next year in 2022. So this could be a way to softly, gently introduce the brand to the VR ecosystem to potentially gain more people to buy into the Apple brand and get used to the fact that Apple are integrated into VR. Who knows? We don't know. Let's go back to the article. The hypothetical feature was discovered, it's hypothetical guys, by iOS developer Steve Moser and reported by Bloomberg. Now Bloomberg are a pretty serious publication, all right? It would allow Quest users, which is basically the standalone VR headset or mobile headset uh, used by Facebook to sync or transfer fitness data captured by Oculus Move onto an iPhone to be collected and viewed as part of the Apple Health app. Now, the other thing is we don't know because we there was other reports that say that um, basically the iOS 
health is actually third parties can actually tag onto it to use various different things with it. So um, it's possible that this is not going to be an exclusive thing to Apple, but it will most probably be exclusive to Oculus because who else are they going to be working with other than Apple, right? Probably no one else. So it might not be exclusive on one end, but it might be exclusive on the other. Um, then the other thing is, so data that's going to be collected, does this mean that Oculus will have the ability to record data from people using an Apple device as well? That's going to be very much a question that we're going to have to get an answer. And will Apple, of course, have any data collected by Oculus users as well? Now, we do know that uh, Apple are known, well, in Asia, perhaps in the West is different. Please leave a comment below. Let us know, you know, what kind of reputation does Apple have in the West, like in Europe or, you know, specifically in the US? It'd be very interesting. I think everyone would be interesting to know because in Asia, iOS and Apple are actually known to be very safe and very secure in not using people's data, which is why people buy into Apple a lot here in Asia. Okay. But perhaps in the West and Europe, they have a different reputation. But does this mean that Apple will have access to Oculus users' data? Yes or no? And if they do, what kind of data? And vice versa, what kind of data will Oculus have? Because we know it, they're being taken to the cleaners as well by every single state in the United States and a whole bunch of different countries all over the world for anti-competitive laws and antitrust laws that they've been breaching because of course the data they've been using has allegedly been used according to reports by Netflix and various other people to basically transform the way the fabric of society is weaved together. So is this going to be something else we're going to be using? Who knows? We don't know. This is all hypothetical, guys. Uh, we're just exploring. Leave a comment below. Let me know how it makes you feel and what kind of uh, hypothesis you have. I think it'd be great to have a conversation amongst us. So let's go back to the article. The code discovered in the Oculus app is still no guarantee that the feature will make it to public release. But come on, guys. If Bloomberg are going to talk about this, it can't be secret. I mean, come on, it can't be top secret. It has to come up. However, the Apple Health app does have functionality that allows it to integrate with third-party hardware. So this was what I was trying to talk about just earlier on. Software, so the precedent is there on Apple's end. Integration with Oculus Quest would mean that any VR fitness data captured by Oculus Move, such as calories burnt, could be viewed alongside and combined with fitness data captured from third party or Apple devices or contributing toward the same goals and statistics. Facebook announced Oculus Move in September 2020, as we mentioned before. Uh, one of the key pieces of hardware in the Apple Health ecosystem is the Apple Watch. The smart watch can track users' activity and sync fitness data to an iPhone. Now guys, just to let you know uh, from personal experience, that uh, I can't say who, but a member uh, of my family, um, you know, the Apple Watch actually kind of saved his life because he was kind of having a heart attack. And thanks to the things we knew what to do, we yeah, we didn't know if it was a heart attack or no, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't really know, but we were, because it wasn't so like sudden stuff, but we knew from the Apple Watch what to do. And kind of the Apple Watch kind of, I think, saved his life. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not paid by Apple or anything like that. I'm just saying that, you know, these kind of things can actually save people's lives. So it's not all bad, right? Um, but I'm just saying, well, what does this all mean for users' data? If Oculus and Apple are going to work together, uh, is it just a PR stunt again? Because, you know, unfortunately, as much as we, whatever you think about Facebook, bad publicity is good publicity, guys. The sh the shares have gone up tremendously in the last 12 months. It's been crazy. No publicity is the best form of bad publicity. Okay, no publicity. But anyway, there you go, guys. Today's video is all about how Facebook might integrate with Apple's uh, health app using the Oculus Move. You know, it might be great for society, it might not be. What do you think? Leave a comment below. All right, before we leave today's video, let's go back to the YouTube VR Essentials channel and say thank you to you and read some of the comments um, that you, uh, you know, wrote before. 
So let's go back, let's go here via Essentials video. The previous video was all about the release of Grammarly. Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator's latest patch. Is it the patch that everyone's been waiting for? Gosh, you guys have been leaving quite a few comments. I'm really happy about that. I think it's fantastic. And guys, do remember to like and subscribe and share this video as we're almost at 8,000 or 10,000 subscribers. So it really help us you know, to gain more uh, people into the community. All right, so Ryan Malin, 2070S plus uh, 10700K plus Rift S or Quest 2 for other games. I get about 35 to 45 FPS, FPS, sorry. If I look straight forward, it's smooth, as smooth as sub 60 FPS can be. If I start looking around, it lags. Haven't tried the update. So Ryan, thanks for your comment. Do let us know after you try the update. Brett Camera Traveler says, I believe Windows Mixed Reality headsets also get a huge one third frame rate bump with Microsoft ASW. Thanks for that. Andre Gabrielson, thank you for your comment. Said, the main problem for me is that main and RDR threat are keeping my FPS back. I have a lot more to go on, so can't use the whole power of PC. Don't understand what I can do about the thread that makes this update bad. Mm. Well, thanks for sharing. Falcon LX911 says, as a Reverb G2 Guru, I'm asking for your help. Okay, I'll catch up with you later on on that one, Falcon, because it's not relating to the post. Andy Skywalker 69, I've had nothing but problems with the update. I update and the first flight, the FPS were amazing. Tried the VR and without great FPS. And after first flight, it kept crashing. So I did a new install after repeat crashes. After the new install, my FPS with and without VR went to the worst it's ever been. Even in menu FPS was about 25 FPS. I'm a total loss. My rig is more than enough to handle the same. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, so obviously, you know, we were talking about in the video that some people reported that basically it worked and other people reported they said it didn't. So I was trying to ask you guys, does it work? Doesn't it work? So that's his uh, rig here, basically. Martin VR Schmack says, I fly over an HP Reverb G2 powered by a Ryzen uh, 5800X and RTX 3080 Ti and 30, 32 gigabytes, 3600 RAM on an X50 board, a 570 board. I have much higher FPS in VR by under 55 FPS. I get constant micro starters when moving the head. It's very annoying. I don't know. It's maybe a driver issue with the quite new uh, RTX 380 Ti or the G2 or the simulator. I'll tell you, it's not the G2 for sure. Um, it might be your card because a lot of people have been having issues with that card, it seems. Um, not quite sure, but definitely not the G2 because I have no issues with the G2, guys, just to let you know. Um, so that was your comments, guys. Thank you very much for that. Let's go very quickly to the uh, YouTube studio and welcome some of the subscribers to the channel. So I'd like to... Um, Thank Phil Bergen, Matthew Ryan, Superfly, Jed Hogg, Stefan Bertrand, uh, Chinese Dude or Korean Dude, Red Hammer, Lloyd Lewis, Reg Tech, and Ken Harper. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are super awesome. And welcome to the community. There's almost, as I mentioned, 10,000 subscribers to the community. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Do leave your comments and questions in the comment section so that potentially people can help you and answer all your comments. Until next time, guys. Until next time, guys, thanks again for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so YouTube tells you in your video feed. Whew, I'm pumped today that a video, a new video has been uploaded in your video feed. All right, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, there's the button.